All right, a pretty cool story here. We are T minus 46 days from the planned launch of a world class infrared telescope that was built right here in Maryland. Always a connection. That's just the start of our state's historic role in this mission. At WJZ Live at the Johns Hopkins Homewood campus tonight. Yeah, Paul Gessler outside mission operations for NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. Hey, Paul. Yeah, you keep peeling that onion, you're going to find more and more Maryland connections to this mission and others with NASA. This web telescope built down in Greenbelt will launch later this month, or next month rather, in December in South America. It will give us an out of this world glimpse at other galaxies far, far away. The Golden Honeycomb Mirror of the James Webb Space Telescope will soon be parked a million miles from Earth. We're not going to be orbiting the Earth. James Webb will operate around the Sun Earth second Lagrangian point. Now, NASA engineers say by February, the infrared telescope will begin orbit at its point four times farther than the Moon. Webb will be the premier observatory for astronomers over at least the next decade and is set to launch December 18th. The project manager laid out how the team completed its final test between the spacecraft and the Mission Operations Center. In the Mission Operations Center, located at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, that center, just one of several Maryland connections. Webb was built at the Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt. Scientific missions will explore the cosmos. For distant galaxies, uh, for stars, black holes, etc. The observatory will stand three stories tall. It weighs six metric tons. The sun shield alone is about the size of a tennis court. But before orbit, it must first fold up and fit inside a rocket. Rebuild it, realign it, retune it and get it to work robotically on orbit. In all, there are 344 so-called single point failure possibilities just in deployment. They're all single point failures. They all need to work perfectly in order to release, uh, release the sun shield. James Webb has to perform some of the most complex sequence of deployments ever, ever attempted. After more than 20 years and 10,000 workers later, Webb appears ready to explore. As the project manager, I won't breathe a sigh of relief until we declare op we're operational 180 days after launch. Okay, so we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves, but the development is already underway for the successor to the Webb Telescope, the Nancy Roman Space Telescope. It's in development right now down at Goddard in Greenbelt, and that's right here in Maryland. And Rick and Nicole, we are talking about getting really, really good images, not only of other galaxies far away, but black holes. And right here in our backyard, the planets right here in our solar system is going to be really cool. Awesome. I mean, we were sitting here really engaged in that Bob story. Bob said we'll be able to see a pimple, pimple on, on Mars. Mars. <laughs> His exact words there, Paul. <laughs> if only Bruce Willis had had we this in Armageddon, so. you know, things would be different. No, Paul, great coverage, great way to break it down, <laughs> Thank too. You, Paul.